Okay, so these videos have started to get extremely long. Look at this one, 41 minutes. So what I'm going to do is make a very quick series as well alongside it, basically going over what we've done in the, the in the long video and giving you a chance to just basically, uh, if for anyone that just wants to do it quickly, they can just literally just look at this code and copy it onto whatever they're doing. Um, and also I'll give a brief explanation of everything so we don't have to watch, well, so you don't have to watch me stumbling over all the problems that I come into. Um, I will go over stuff in detail as well, but I'll just be quick about it. So this should be nice and quick for all of you people that want to get it done as fast as you possibly can. Okay, so in the first video, we set up the includes and stuff. Um, basically, if you wanted to check that one out, because it's actually very short, it's only 13 minutes in comparison to the others, we go through, we download GLM, GLFW, and GLAD, and we, uh, we get them linked up to the project. So we've got them in a folder called, I'll tell you what, I'll just open it quickly. We've got them in the products of the folder. So there's a solution directory, go up one, and that's where the libraries are stored with all GLAD, GLFW, and GLM. Um, and what we've done is gone into the properties, go to C++, add, add additional includes. Here's the code for that. You've got the macro to go to the solution directory, go up a level, go to libraries, and then get the includes and the GLM um, for GLAD, GLFW, GLM. And then for the linker, the exact same thing, uh, but only for G GLFW, because that's the only thing we need to link at the moment. Um, so we downloaded, yes, yeah, so we just go to the solution directory, libraries, GLFW, include the library directory for the version of Visual Studio that you have. Um, and then in the input, I think it is, yep, additional dependencies, GLFW3.lib, that'll be in that folder that's in, the, in this one here the lib VC 2019 or 2017, depending on what version of Visual Studio you have. And there's the library. And the last thing we did was add to the pre-processor uh, pre definitions, GLFW include none. And that basically um, stops the error that you get when you include GLAD and GLFW together because GLAD tries to include, no, GLFW tries to include glue, um, no, GL, sorry, the GL header whereas GLAD also has it included. So you basically tell GLFW not to include it. Um, so that's that's the first video. The second video, we set up the window. So we'll quickly go into what's going on there. We've, we've created a class called window and included it. Got window, main window there. The size of the window, you can change this to whatever size you want. We're initializing the window and that's, oh, we swap buffers down here. So if we go over to the window header class, here you can see how the, the class is set up. We're including STDIO, so we can actually print to the console. GLFW and GLAD. And then we got the window constructor, for if we haven't put anything in, and the window constructor, so that you can actually set the size that you want, and a deconstructor. We've got the initialize function right there. A uh, couple of getters, and uh, this one's quite important. Get window should close, because um, you want that for your main loop, which is here. Main window, get window should close. While that's active, keep going through, basically. And uh, swap buffers is also important. GLFW swap buffers, right there. Uh, so very quickly, you want to point it to the main window and a couple of uints for the window height and window width, and then a GL in for buffer height, buffer width. And we'll go over to the window. And here we have two constructors. Um, we have the deconstructor. And then in initialize, we have GLFW initialize. And if that doesn't succeed, you've got an if it doesn't succeed right there, because this is a Boolean, it returns, or actually it returns an int, but it's treating it like a Boolean. Um, then we fail to initialize GLFW and return an error. That will print to the console if there's a problem. Uh, and then if it succeeds, then we go through and create a window. And you can see what we've done there. Um, if the windows fail to create, then we fail to initialize the main window. So we terminate GLFW, and then we return one for error again. Uh, but otherwise, we have successfully initialized GLFW, got the main window working. So we go on to the next part, um, get the frame buffer size, make the context, set the window user pointer, uh, load GLAD, and if load, GLAD fails to initialize, then we need to destroy the window now that it's been created and terminate, terminate GLFW. Um, and then afterwards, what we're doing is we are getting the major and the minor versions of OpenGL on your system. Um, if this comes, if you run this, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll carry on quickly. So major and minor, get the um, 
the, get the version on the system. And then we've got that printed to the console so we can see what one we're running on. And you basically just GLFW window hint, the ver GLFW version major, GLFW version minor. So that's three, well, actually for us it'll be 4.6, but most of the tutorials you see out there will be 3.3. .3. And then we're setting the, the profile to core profile with forward compatibility. And then actually we take we take this off later, but yeah, we can leave that back for, like that for now. And then GLV port zero zero buffer width buffer height. And all that will do is get you a nice big, well, actually, I think this is a relatively small. Ooh, what have we got? Link errors. Main window is uninitialized. Ah, what's happened? This is because I literally just loaded up the repository. That's why I'm running 64 bit when it should be 86. There we go, it's running now. So there we go, we've got a nice window, we've got the version that we're, we're using. So if this isn't 4.6 for you, then you need to update your um, your drivers for the graphics card. Um, and here's the repository for just that, um, not just the, the graphics card, sorry, the uh, uh, drivers. It's, it's actually, this is the repository for the, the, the solution, the project, with just the window created. So in the next one, I'll quickly go over what we did to create uh, the... Uh, the lovely um, triangle.